hello you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today we are doing an everyday makeup look that I tend to lean towards when I do put makeup on my voice is also like going in and out of like being present allergies are kicking my butt it's been 80 here who knew it was just snowing last week we're going through it okay but before we begin please consider leaving a like and subscribing also leave a comment down below on what your favorite makeup style is do you like like the bold crazy makeup or do you like the no makeup makeup look I don't know how to do that one but I would be down to learn how to do it all right without further ado let's get into this makeup tutorial so the first thing that I use is this elf poreless putty primer it genuinely just erases all signs of pores okay so now that that is done I'm going with the milk hydro grip primer I love this primer I love both of these primers together if you wear face masks and makeup you already know that like your foundation powder whatever is just like on your face mask and mine still gets on my face mask but my face looks like I wasn't wearing a face mask which is honestly like insane to me so I know some people start with their eye makeup I personally don't because I can't ever get my foundation up to my eye makeup without it looking weird so I just do my foundation first um, I am using the Tarte found sealer if you have oily skin you might not like it I actually have very oily skin but I use a lot of face powder so I use the morphe m439 brush favorite foundation brush I just put I put more than what I probably need. It's very buildable to full coverage and I personally like the full coverage look but it doesn't look cakey. It just looks like glowy. If you like that glowy look this is what you need in your life. I cake my powder under my eyes and on my forehead because I'm already getting creases because I'm like very expressionating. Expressionating? Wow. I'm very expressionated. But yeah I pack it and then I just kind of like push it into my foundation so like I don't have to brush it off if that makes sense but I do go in with a brush all right so now I'm going through or go to, I can't talk I'm gonna use this contour palette thingy um I don't know how I feel about it honestly it just it looks good it's not blending the greatest I just I'm struggling today. It's been like two weeks since I put makeup on. But when every week you either have a paper, a project, or an exam coming up, it, it adds up quick. Now I get to balance a fourth class, but a lot of people said she's a blow off class. So I'm a senior. I'm looking for the blow off classes. Wow, I look like blow off class. So for the eyeshadow palette, I'm using the Tarte Let Juicy palette. So stinking beautiful. I feel like I should put earrings on with this makeup look. Hold on one second. I haven't worn earrings in a hot minute, so you know we might not be wearing earrings today. Oh, I don't know if we're wearing earrings today. Uh, oh, we are. We're going with the color Blossom. The Blossom color, you want to start at like your outer corner, like right in this area. Blend up. Just leave like enough light space and then you blend. Just for the sake of this video, I do think I'm going to go in with this color right here that is rose so what I did with that rose color is I went just where I went with the blossom the first color but I just stopped just below it so that way there was like a blend of like light so it's kind of ombreing down now I'm going with luscious this color looks I'm trying to remember it's been like two weeks since I've done makeup I'm trying to remember for certain I believe this is pigmented I'm also going to go in with this bottom color I'm just skipping parts at this point but I need to get to that color stay in this outer edge don't go inwards stay like from here out so that way you have like lighter in the ends and lighter at the top if that makes sense that'll give you kind of like that smoky eye sometimes when you do eye makeup they don't always look the same that's okay uh, for right now they don't look the same nor will they so I'm going in with this color and then this color so I'm going to put this color paradise like in the middle and then the color reflect more towards the inner I'm just gonna use my finger my fingers are clean okay so now we have like the lighter if you want it to be like more like bold and just like loud put concealer or like a little bit of foundation on like in your crease and 
it'll like come out like a lot brighter. I was gonna go in with a different brush. I'm not, I'm just gonna stick with this brush. Go into your like under eyes, like don't go into your waterline. And then now I'm gonna go in with Blossom, which is that first shade that we used. And then just blend. You can kind of see like how it got like a little bit lower. From a distance, no one will tell. Go on your eyebrow or your brow bone rather. And then just put some highlighter on and then go into your like inner crease. I get this little dense flat brush and then I go in with my eyeshadow and go straight with the rose, which was this color right there. So just tap a little bit and then blush. So now that I look like a mess, go in with this brush and then go in with reflect. It's kind of difficult, but so now I'm going to use an eyeliner and just line up my waterline. Now, I know people use like white. I've never found a white waterliner that you can see. So this one is an eyeshadow pencil thing and it's in the shade Sweet Cream. So I'm going to put this in my kind of waterline, like inner waterline. Hmm. Maybe I didn't already have an eyeliner on. Okay, well, you can see it's like gathering all of the... Oh, it just comes off so easily though. Okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Hold on. Wow. Okay. Five dollars, I think. Five or six dollars. Get it. Now, stop what you're doing. Stop watching the video. Go to Walmart right now. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Like, do you see? Oh my gosh, I need to stop touching my makeup because I'm never gonna stop. This is insane, okay. I love this so much. I'm so glad I tried this. I wasn't even gonna try it, but now I'm like so glad I did. Okay, now I have the black one. It's not fully black, it has glitter in it. It's in the shade Midnight Milkshake. I'm gonna like line, I don't know if I'm comfortable trying an eyeliner. It is an eyeshadow, so I'm, I imagine it's blendable. I did try it on my hand. It really is smudge proof. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I let it dry too quick. Or I think it dried too quick, but now they have a brush out. Maybe it'll be better right here. So it's blendable, but it really doesn't smudge like at all. Once it's dry, I had it on my hands to like test it when I first got it two weeks ago. Okay, this instantly like changed the look. It's crazy that this did it. Oh, it's so beautiful now. This is what it was missing. All right, so now I put on mascara. If you got sensitive eyes like me, you can still put lashes on and that's what we're doing. Now, this is where you need to sit down. Do not move, do not rush this step. I also use this Kiss Adhesive with Aloe. If you've got sensitive eyes that are like allergic to everything, you need this because it's the Aloe like soothes it. Put a lot on. People will be like, don't put a lot on. Put a lot on, okay? You aren't gonna put it on right now. You're gonna let it dry. You can see it, it's on. It's a pretty good layer. I do a lot of glue. It's like, if it's still white, it's not ready. So I just blow on it and just get it like tacky. Okay, so you can kind of see now, maybe not. It's not as white as it was. Perfect, okay? It's still tacky, there's still some white spots. Put it on in the middle first. Kind of like line it up so that way you can see where the end is at. Don't line it with the, f the front, line it with the back. So that way you know where the back of your lashes are gonna be. Put it as close or onto the lash line as possible and hold it for like six seconds. Grab the front of your lashes and then place them on your lash line. Now I go in with my finger on this part cause I've been doing it forever. Grab your real lashes and your fake and just press them together. So I'm gonna put the other lash on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have both lashes. This one seems to be kind of pointy. I also don't know how to put lipstick on. I never learned it. So I'm just putting a little bit and I'm gonna blend. Okay, it's not the worst. I also don't think I have the lips for lipstick. I don't know. I don't think I like this, but that's okay. It goes together, I guess. I don't know. I need to shut this mirror because I keep looking at it instead of the camera. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I mean, this is it. But that will be it. I, this is what, minus the lipstick. Typically I don't go for lipstick, but I figured because I'm filming, I'll just put lipstick on to show you guys like, if I were to do it, but I don't typically wear lipstick. I just like blending in like natural lips, nude. All that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.